So at first, doing this what's in my travel bag video seemed like a good idea, but then I realized I'm gonna be taking everything out of my bag in order to show you guys, so I'm like undoing everything I just did. But that's okay, you guys are totally worth it. Welcome back to my channel. Now by the time you guys are seeing this video, I will have already been in Europe for several days, but I thought I would go ahead and just show you guys what is in my travel bag. Now currently it is Wednesday, but I'm gonna be leaving two days from now on Friday. Friday afternoon, my boyfriend's gonna pick me up from school, we're driving straight to New York, and then the next day we fly out to Barcelona. I think what I pack in my travel bag slash carry-on bag is pretty typical. I don't think you're really gonna see anything that you haven't seen before. However, I'm gonna share it with you guys because this is my YouTube channel and you see a lot of my teaching life but you don't see a lot of my personal life so welcome to it all right so this is my travel bag it is an under armor book bag and I got this about six or seven years ago like it's held up really really well but I prefer to take a book bag rather than just like a shoulder bag because it is a lot more functional and I would much rather my bag be functional than cute the book bag is a lot more comfortable especially when I have a lot of stuff in it and a lot of stuff that is heavy it's much easier for me to carry than a shoulder bag I also really like this book bag because it has a ton of pockets which obviously helps me keep things very organized which you guys know makes me super happy it it makes it much easier when I need something specific. I know exactly where to find it and I can get it really quickly. I also really like that this book bag has this strap that will connect the two shoulder straps and I know that sounds super lame but sometimes when it's really really heavy it makes a big difference. Okay so I will go ahead and start with this back pocket. So what I really like about this back pocket is it's padded really well so it's perfect for holding my laptop and it makes it really really easy to get out when I'm going through security. I know exactly where it is and I can get out really quickly. So this laptop case came from Amazon it's like super cheap I think it's like 15 or 20 dollars but I've used it for a couple years now and I really really like it so obviously inside of here I just have my MacBook Pro and then I have my flash drives because these have like my entire life on it this is where all my TPT products are everything I need for my classroom is in there and in case I work on products I need to have that and then this is my external hard drive which has my entire YouTube life on it this is where all of my footage goes and all of my videos so this is necessary because I plan to edit some videos on the plane alright so the next pocket is the biggest pocket and this is where most of my stuff goes so the first thing I have in here are my beats and these are literally like my baby I take these with me everywhere I love them to death these are the studio wireless beats in the matte black and like I said I love these I use these for everything I use these when I edit I use these at the gym and these are perfect for the airplane because they are noise canceling and I'm gonna be editing so all right, the next thing that I have in here is just a plain notebook. This normally is in my school bag. However, I took it out for my travel bag because I always like to have a notebook with me, especially when I'm traveling, just because I will get ideas in my head and I need somewhere to write them down. I do make a lot of notes on my MacBook or my phone, but I also love to have just paper and pencil. Kind of to go along with that, I also have my pencil pouch from my school bag. This came from the Target dollar spot, but I always like to have pens and pencils and markers and Sharpies and pretty much anything else you can imagine on me, so this goes with me as well. So on the inside of this big pocket, there's also this smaller like little zipper pocket, and this is where I put some important things like my passport, that way it's super easy to get a hold of when I need it going through security, and I also put a pack of gum in here because my ears pop really, really bad on the plane and I have to have gum. Now Next I have snacks, which is probably the most important thing I have in my bag if we're being honest. Uh, don't make fun of me, but I like to bring tuna packets because they're good for you, they taste good, they're easy, they don't have to be refrigerated, they're pretty filling, so yeah. And then I also have a couple of Lara bars because again, they're good for you, they're easy, they're filling, and I need to get more if we're being honest because that is not going to be enough for me. So I will probably make a grocery run tomorrow, get some more snacks, and I will show you guys in my vlog what I end up getting. Next thing I have in here is a small toiletry bag. So this just has a whole bunch of little things. I'll show you what I have in here. So the first thing I have are just travel tissues because you never know when you might need those. I also have just a small thing of hand sanitizer because you always, always, always need that on a plane. I also have an assortment of band-aids because I am very clumsy and I tend to need them often. I also have a toothbrush and toothpaste because the last time I traveled to Europe, the one thing I remember is landing in London and wanting to brush my teeth so bad because after being on the plane for so many hours, I just felt gross and I really wanted to brush my teeth. 
so now I can. I also carry chapstick. Now I have my purse with me as well and that has chapstick, but I always carry a million chapsticks because I tend to lose them and I always like to have backup. So this is the Burt's Bees Peony and this is the Lip Shimmer. And I really, really like this because not only is it moisturizing, but also just gives you a little bit of color. I also have a couple of extra hair ties because I tend to lose those a lot and I always need a bunch of extras. I also have an eyeglass cleaner. <laughs> then I have a couple of just medicine. So this is my migraine medicine and that's definitely necessary. I have motion sickness relief because I tend to get really bad motion sickness, not necessarily on a plane, but the last cruise I took, I got really, really seasick. So this is necessary. And then I also have Jet Alert, which this is like essentially a caffeine pill. I got this the last time I traveled to Europe. So actually it's probably not even good anymore, but I got it knowing that I was gonna be really tired. I never ended up taking them. So I'm taking them now. And then the last, oh no, there's one more, hold on. So I also have assorted plastic bags, just because you never know when you might need a plastic bag or why you might need a plastic bag. So I have a quart size, a sandwich size and also a snack size. All right, and then the last thing that I have in this pocket is just a hairbrush because my hair tends to get knotted very easily and I like to have that with me. The next pocket is just a little bit smaller, but this is where I like to put all of my chargers just so they're all in one place. So I have my MacBook charger and then I also have this thing, which I showed you in my what's in your teacher bag video. This essentially is a thing to hold chargers. So I have an extra phone charger and then I also have one of these battery packs that I can charge my phone with. And I also have a spare pair of earbuds just in case my beats die. All right, so the last pocket is just this small pocket on the front. Now I typically keep this pocket pretty empty just because I like to have it available if I need to put stuff in it. But this is typically where I will carry my phone and I have like a million notifications, but this is where I will put my phone. That way it's easy to get out when I need it and it's easy to put away. All right, so now my bag is like completely empty and I have to pack it again, so it's okay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I don't really take anything super fancy, but hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing what I'm taking anyway. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to me if you haven't already because going up tomorrow will be my first travel vlog and I'm so, so excited to show you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video and for supporting my YouTube channel. If you wanna check out any of my older videos, you can use the two links right down here. If you wanna to subscribe to me so you don't miss any future videos, you can use the link right up here. In the description box, you will find links to all of my social media sites, my Teachers Pay Teacher store, and my Amazon store, and I will catch you guys in the next one.